Hello, hello, Pete's Packs here with our second box of Modern Horizons. Uh, we are on the hunt for Renin 6, Archmage's Charm, Force of Negation, and um, something else. Oh man, what is the other thing we need? And we need two color we need two force negation. We need two Archmage's Charm. And I can't remember what else. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. I think we need a waterlogged grove also. And we need four Renin 6. That's what it is. Renin 6. We are on the hunt for Renin 6, Archmage's Charm, Force of Negation, um, and Waterlog Grove. That's it. So I have confirmed we have in fact pulled a playset of Urza's from this set. Um, So we have a matching playset, um, and then we have a second unmatched playset. It's a combination of borderless and other ones. So we've got 1 through 18 here from slot 1, and then 19, 19 through 36 in slot 2. Let's see, we will... Batch up into groups of six. So that we don't bump them later. And just to make it easier to count down our stacks. All right. So got our sheet, which I made during our pause in the last video. Let's get cracking. Come on, Renin 6. Starting things off strong with a foil soldier token. Goblin matron. Snow-covered forest. Hey! Get Yogmoth right off the bat. This is our first Yogmoth Grand Physician. Happy about that. Got a Sling Gang Lieutenant. Since the last video, I've determined, yes, I am in fact going to pull commons and uncommons separately. We've got double card where they're stuck together. Defile and Prohibit, we pull both of those. Nope, oh, that's it. Hanger of a first pack. Pack number two. We got Yogmoth, which, you know, we can trade. Spirit. Morophon. Our art card, Snow Covered Mountain. Hey, Force of Negation. Uh, this, this box is already off to a fantastic start. We've pulled one of the two that we need. So then we've got Miscut Throws of Chaos, Frostwalk Bastion, Urza's Rage for our uncommons. Two good pulls for our commons. All right. Getting things started off with a bang. Just the way I like it. Pack number three. Goblin token. Prismatic Vista. Yeah, Prismatic Vista for the art card. Snow Covered Swamp. We've got our first me card with Alula's and Alula's 
influence. We get scale up. We pull scale up. Earthing bras, twisted reflection, not ex quite as good. Shenanigans, always in for some shenanigans. Spore frog, not pulling because I've got a ton of them from the first printing. All right, pack four. Yug Moth, of course, having an entire deck built around them, and then uh, Force of Negation <laughs> basically being our new Force Will. Force of Despair. All right. Snow Covered Island. Collector Oof. Yeah. Nothing makes your opponent go Ugh! more than a Collector Oof when they're running a uh, artifact strategy. It is a Beating for artifact strategies. Nothing in our uncommons. Nothing in our commons, but hey, we pulled a collector roof, so it's all good. Pack number five. Get a soldier token. That's uh, Umazawa's charm. Yeah, Umazawa's charm. Snow-covered planes. Te Tectonic Reformation. Card that I personally enjoy, but does not see play to speak of. Let's see, that is our first Tectonic Reformation. We get a Lonely Sandbar. Root Seeker, Ravenous Giant. Not what we're looking for. Eh, Changeling Outcast. Ephemerate, yes. So we have pulled a playset of Ephemerates now. It's one of those cards that I have several of, but I always find myself needing more copies of. Have an Illusion token, an Ephemerate art card, Snow-Covered Mountain, our first base foil, and then a Force of Rage. This is not the force we're looking for. Also, quite possibly the worst force. Because the tokens don't stick around, which is really annoying. Ooh, generous gift, though. Don't need any of those. Ooh, miscut spore frog. Oh, an unearth. We do like unearths. And a fairy seer. We like those two. That was pack six. Pack seven. If I don't need the the cards across the room. We have a foil shapeshifter. Very nice. And an art card that's skelemental. Lightning skelemental. Yep. Snow covered planes. Cordial vampire. Settled Rimestag, Conifer... Ooh, Battle Screech! Alright, yeah, Battle Screech we like to see. Played heavily in Popper. Was upshifted to a uh, Uncommon. Geomancer's Gambit, Arkham's Astrolabe. Right. I really do wish they would unban some cards from Popper. Um... I feel with the power level shifts, with like initiative and some of the other things, that it would be just fine if we had some, you know, Urza stacks again or some other stuff. In pack eight, we have a zombie token, an endling for our art card, snow covered swamp. We get our first sword of truth and justice. Very nice. Of course, being the Blue-white sword, a little less good. Let's see, munitions expert we pull. So that gets played. A um, little less lucky with our commons. Pack number nine. Yeah, pack number nine. Goblin token, a really pretty art card. 
no idea what that is. Is that Winds of Abandon? Yeah, Winds of Abandon. Snow-Covered Forest. Ice Fang Coddle. Nice. That's our first one that we've pulled so far. I think I've pulled two in previous series. Undead Augur. Talisman of Resistance. Or of Resilience. Those both get pulled. We have Weather the Storm. Very nice. Putrid Goblin. Nice. And that's it. All right, pack 10. Trying to move along at kind of a steady pace. Soldier token, Wall of a Thousand Swords, I think. Wall of 1,000 Cuts. Snow-Covered Plains. Morophon. This is our first Morophon so far. It's nice to pull a Mythic. Nothing too exciting in the uncommons. Nothing really in the commons either. It's all right. We pulled a mythic. Pack number 11. Oh, foil zombie token. Ooh. I remember correctly, the first foil tokens were zombies. Let's answer prayers. Uh, back in Shadows over Innistrad, I think. Yeah, Snow-Covered Swamp, and we get our second Hogak. Do not miss the days of Hogak being in Modern. Did not get a chance to play against it much, but when I did, it was miserable. So then we've got King of the Pride, Crypt Rats. Need those. Peter Goblin, nice. Winding Way, nice. And a Lava Dart. Yeah, that was a good pack. Pack 12. Still no Ren and Six. They elude us. The bird token. Sisay weather like captain. Snow covered forest. Plain bound accomplice. Let's see, 140. That is our first plain bound accomplice. Nothing in our uncommons, but hey, we got to weather the storm. Future Goblin, nice. Very nice, very nice. And that's it. All right. On to Lucky 13. We got a Shapeshifter token. Headless Spectre for our art card, Snow Covered Island, a foil chiller pillar, so a chillier chiller pillar. And Genesis, one of my favorite cards of all time. Also, pretty good band, you know. Phil Collins, heck of an artist. Can't remember the other members of the band for some reason. old Genesis. Smiting Helix. Uh, yeah. Talisman of Hierarchy is good enough. Hey, we get an Astrolabe. Nice. So good it's banned. Alright. Pack 14. I might have to take a small break during this video for to get a drink. Because my throat is a little dry. Goblin token. At our ravenous giant, snow covered forest, and a prismatic vista. I need those. Because <laughs> I have not pulled very many of them. I, I have tons of pillages. I don't need to pull pillages. I'm fine. Really getting pillages to. The uh, pile of bulk. All right, this is pack 15. Illusion token. Hogak for our art card. Snow covered swamp. A foil talisman of creativity. Very nice. And there's our waterlogged grove. Nice. So we've we've had two hits so far. 
we needed a waterlogged grove, and we need four Renin 6, and nothing in our uncommons. Still have not seen a Renin 6. Nothing in our commons. But we got a nice double hit. With a foil talisman and a waterlogged grove. 16. Okay. Hmm. Soldier token. That is a witch of some kind. Wart Eye Witch. Yep. Snow Covered Plains. And we got a Crashing Footfall. I forgot this was in the set. I completely forgot this was in the set. Crashing Footfalls is a good one to pull. Um, you know, considering they built a whole deck, uh, the people have built a whole deck around it. That is our first Crashing Footfalls. I think that's actually the first one that I've even seen. Um, out of all of my pulls. Eh, nothing really in our uncommons. We've got to prohibit. All right, pack 17. I'm actually really happy about the Crashing Footfalls. It's a deck I've considered building for a while. The zombie token. Mox Tantalite. Yeah. Snow-covered mountains. And we get our first uh, meh card. Well, not meh. It's not our first, but it's it's definitely a meh card. Ashlock Mons. Which just sounds like I'm saying something dirty. For some reason. Um. Alright. Got a fairy seer. Alright, that's all our commons though. Into the first stack, we've got pack 18. Someone is blowing up my phone. It is a recruiter. I will have to pause the video for a minute to handle that. Scammer all possibilities for our card. Snow covered island on thin ice. That is our first one. Cyclic step. Talisman. We pull. Valiant changeling. Nice. And get a geomancer's gambit. And that's it for our commons. All right, I'm going to take a brief break, pause the video, and come back after I answer this call with the recruiter. Hopefully I remember to turn my mic back on. All right, I'm back. I have hydrated. Talked with the recruiter. We're on to pack 19. Ooh, foil elemental token. First Slivers Chosen, Snow-Covered Plains, Dead of Winter, number two. Nothing in the uncommons. Nothing in the commons, wow. All right. 20. Shapeshifter token, Chiller Pillar, art card, Snow-Covered Mountain, Force of Virtue. Also not the force we're looking for. Force of Virtue, that is our first one. Munitions Expert, all the blossoms, nice. And let's see what our commons are. Nothing to write home about. Back 21. Ooh, foil goblin token. Eula, Queen of the Bears. Excuse me. Snow covered island. Nurturing peatland. We have now successfully pulled one of each of the lands in this set. 
always good to pull one of those. Thing in our uncommons, one. Prohibit in our commons, very nice. 22. Elemental token. Smoke Shroud for our art card. Snow Covered Forest. Our second Nether Spirit. Talisman of Curiosity. Rebuild and Undead Augur. One, two, three, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, three uncommons. <laughs> uh, why am I like this? Winding way. <laughs> Very seer. Very nice. All right, pack 23. Hey, Foil Marriott Lage Token. Very nice. These used to actually be worth something. No, they're not. They've been printed quite a bit. Spinehorn Minotaur. Snow-Covered Mountain. Foil Snow-Covered Mountain. Very nice. And an Endling. Womp womp. That is our second Endling. Hey, our, our actual rare was the, was the Foil Snow-Covered Mountain. <laughs> Oh, unearth. Yeah, that was it. All right, pack 24. Still no Renin 6. We're almost halfway through our second box. Actually, we're over halfway through our second box. That is concerning. Illusion token is Plague Engineer. Snow Covered Swamp. Force of Despair. <laughs> Oh, man. Force of Despair, number one. Still not the force we're looking for. Soul Herder. It's good. Dismantling Blow, less Romanticore, less so. Geomancer's Gambit, all right. Arkham's Astrolabe and Unearth and Ephemerate. Okay, so our, our commons made up for everything else. All right, pack 25. We have a goblin token. First chosen sliver, or lancer sliver. Okay, snow covered island. Kaya's Guile is our first double rare pack of the box. Kaya's Guile, number two. Mist Syndicate Naga. Not what we're looking for. That is our first Miss Syndicate Naga case. Okay, nothing too exciting in our uncommons. Got to weather the storm. All right. And that's it. All right. Pack 26. Get a zombie token. Throws of Chaos, our art card, Snow Covered Plains, Collected Conjuring. Let's see. That is our first Collected Conjuring. The Goblin Matron. All right. And then for our commons, nothing of note. Makes me sad that Nimble Mongoose it has been outclassed so much over the last few years. This is Pack 27. Used to be one of my favorite creatures. Get a foil elephant token. And a bizarre trade mage. Snow covered mountain. Fiery Islet. Alright. We like fiery islets around here. Free folk, not what we're looking for. Flame Bolt, that's a good one. Renation Rider is a good one too. 
Uh, nimble mongoose. I miss you being good. Nope. Nothing in the commons. Pack 28. A soldier token. Goblin matron for our art card. Snow covered mountain. And a, Lu uh, a Eula. I don't know why that name is so hard to say. Didn't we pull in Ayula's influence earlier? I think I forgot to mark it down. Yeah, Ayula's influence, I forgot to mark that down. I marked down the Collector Oof and the Force Negation. But I forgot to mark down the Ayula's influence. Okay, nothing in our uncommons. We get a shenanigans. Future Goblin. Eh, not bad. This is pack 29? Yeah, 29. Wow. Foil Bear Token to go along with our Ayula's Influence from earlier. Threat Seeker for our art card, Snow Covered Island. Bizarre Trade Mage. Boo. Is our second with our trade mage. All right, we get a talisman of creativity. And nothing in our commons. All right, pack 30. And this, this box started off hot and it started to cool off real fast. And I, I don't know how I feel about that. Shape shifter. Less romantic horror, snow covered forest, force of vigor. All right, we like those. Force of vigor, number two, not bad. Nothing in our uncommons, nothing in our commons. Wow, all right, on to the last. Last stretch, pack 31. Still need a Renin 6. Still haven't found one. Illusion token? Worst case, I have a case of Double Masters, um, Collector's Boosters, and Set Boosters if I have to dig into them, but I'd rather not. Sort of Truth and Justice? Snow Covered Mountain Foil Lonely Sandbar. Now, the original set foils for this are actually very expensive. They're around $10, $20. Actually, I know that's a big range, but they're somewhere in there depending on the time of year. That is Aria of Flame number two. It tends to depend on whether or not Popper is in season. So we get Prohibit, Defile. And that's it. All right, pack 32. Part of the reason why I don't like putting prices in my videos is because they tend to be cyclical and fairly dynamic. So, there's a thing. We get a zombie token. Enduring Sliver. Snow Covered Swamp. And Mirrodin Besieged, number three. Vesper Lark, Eyeside Golem, Battle Screech! All right, and Weather the Storm. Very nice. With a Denial, or Defile, Shenanigans. Hey, it's one of those where our commons and uncommons were far better than our rare. There's a thing. All right, Boil Burt Token. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Zalfrin decoy. Oh, he's on a zebra unicorn. That's so cool. I just now noticed that. Snow covered island. Fists of flame foil. Goblin engineer. All right. I mean, like, 
not what we're looking for, but it is a good card. It's Goblin Engineer number two. Nothing in our uncommons. Arkham's Astrolabe. All right. And a Lava Dart. Very cool. Good commons, though. Pack 34. A Goblin token. Sarah the Benevolent for our art card. Snow-covered plains. And a Giver of Runes. This is our third Giver of Runes. Getting close to a playset on those. Talisman of Resilience. In our uncommons, get a fairy seer and an ephemerate. All right. Ephemerate is one of those cards that it's so good. Like it, it doesn't seem like it would be as good as it is, but it, it it's great in popper. It's great in legacy. It's fantastic in modern. Like there's three whole decks just built around it in modern. And there's two decks built around it in or there's two deck archetypes built around it in Popper. It's just such a good card. And it even sees play in Legacy um, as part of some builds of initiative. Get a bird token, this is pack 35. Ashlick Mons for our art card. Uncovered Forest, Unsettled Mariner. That is our first Unsettled Mariner. We make up for it with a generous gift and an exclude. Okay, wing shards used to be amazing. Uh, unfortunately, it is a relic of a bygone era. And nothing in our commons. And last but not least, pack 36. Come on, Renin 6. Please be in here. Well, ideally, it would be a foil Renin 6 with a regular one, but I'm. I can hold my breath. Soldier token. Rebuild for our art cards. Snow-covered swamp. Okay, Ranger Captain of Eos. I can accept that. That is a $25 card. I'm not going to be upset by, you know, by pulling four or five times the pack's cost. I just have to find it on the list. That is our first Ranger Captain of Eos. We get a good uncommon with Goblin Matron and a Carrion Feeder. All right. On a perworm, not so much. Then we get a Shenanigans. Changeling Outcast. All right. And that's it. So we started off hot, cooled down in the middle, and then got some good stuff closer towards the end. So overall, not bad. We pulled, I think we pulled every force. Did we pull every force in this set? So we pulled a Force of Vigor. Pulled Force of Despair. Force of Virtue. Force of Rage. And of course, Force of ne We pulled every force in one box. All five. Let me put them in correct order. So, yeah. Pulled all five forces in one box. So, that's the thing. And we pulled some of the lands. Two, three, four. And a collector roof and a dog moth. So even though we didn't pull exactly what we were looking for, uh, can't really complain. We did pull some good stuff. And, you know, it could always be worse. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I shouldn't complain pulling a Yawgmoth, every force, uh, Ranger Captain. Let's see, that's good. Giver's good. These are junk. Nether, Nether Spirit's all right. Crashing Put Calls is fantastic. Genesis Assault, well, one of my favorite cards. It's just meh. 
at this point. Ice Fang Quaddle's good. Like, Sword is good. Well, some really good stuff, just not what we were looking for, which was Renin 6. As always, thank you for joining me on this adventure. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. You know, what is the chase card that you are having the most trouble with it right now? Um, I'm interested to know. So, until next time, stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.